Hello everybody, I'm Dan here from Tamer Game Channel and welcome back to another video where today we are playing the Thousand Week Reich, but we have a sub mod on called A New Europe. So, there's some interesting new things that have been added with this sub mod. Germany has a UN controlled focus tree after they've been defeated. They have that, uh, which I'm interested in seeing. I think um, Italy has a post Mussolini tree and France has some new content as well in regards to them getting their land back from Germany and potentially fighting them for it, or regaining it peacefully, but you know which option I'm probably going to choose. But um, let's jump into it and see what this uh, sub mod has in store for us. I was recommended to play it by a subscriber. I can't remember your name, I do apologise, but yes, it's you. It's you to th that we have to thank for this video. So let's hop on in. Here we are, the French states. Of course, we have a lot of land to regain. We have Corsica, Savoy, North Savoy, Lothringen. Oh, Merenge von Kallen, if I pronounce that correctly. Alsace Lorraine. Oh, I think they've all got German names right now, but we have a lot of territory to re secure. And I'll maybe try and expand and take out the French Authority, potentially. Depends what they do, because I don't really want to go to war with the Toronto Accord straight away. I should have pointed out our national spirits. None of them are good, they're all terrible. But we have the second armistice, which you can see is destroying a lot of things for us, but is giving us. A random plus 200% on land doctrine research speed, which is just strange. Incompetent government, which is again awful. More reparations, awful. And divided military, awful. So right now, we're in an awful position. It's fantastic. Uh oh, the Algerian War of Independence kicked off. So we must fight against the French colonialists to gain our freedom. I don't think we want to choose that. Algiers is French, we must make sure it remains that. Or we can only stand and watch in horror. Can we intervene? Ah, so the only thing I can do in Algeria is to send guns to Iran. I'll do it. Why not? I shall help them out as best I can. Okay, so Italy has approached us with an offer. They are wishing to have us join their economic bloc in the Mediterranean to enhance trade and economic cooperation. They also have invited us to their military alliance, Mediterranean Pact. The range of options potentially limited by ideology and other factors. We can refuse all offers. We can accept the economic proposals, or we can accept military and economic alignment. Well, I'm going to do one thing, and one thing only. Shove it, Italy. You have our territory, and I'm coming for you, Mussolini. Wow, so we get uh, two options to handle the strikers. We can put them down, which just completely kills our stability, but gives us political power. Or we can gain stability and lose political power. However, we get strike agreements for 180 days, which is just a reduced Get a national spirit of workers strike. I'm going to negotiate with them. Why Why would I want to lose all my stability? We're now sitting at 80. It's fantastic. Yes, we're negative PP and we're making 0.12 per day, but it's fine. Ah, damn it. I ran out of time to get the last few focuses that I wanted to do. I wanted to just get Northern Development for another four civvies and I did want to get the limited rearmament as well, but sadly that has not been done because Mr. H is dead, so all we've got to do is Unrelated celebrations, which is definitely nothing to do with that. The French celebration. A cocktail party held in the chief residency. The elites of France have gathered the chamber, officially celebrating the longevity of the French state. Within their hearts, they're rejoicing uh, due to the death of Mr. H. Someone, however, has attempted to shoot the chief. So we can have him die, but chaos awaits. We will come back to this route in a future video. But for the time being, he dodges death and the gunman is arrested. After rounds of interrogation, the gunman has finally yielded by spilling the truth. It was a plot put in place by Jacques Doriot, leader of the French Popular Party, that was orchestrated to eliminate the military dictator in order to usurp the leadership. And thankfully, Doriot has been arrested and put away in a secret location. So, Wagen has decided that it is time for him to step down due to his old age and his narrow escape of death. Uh, he has appointed Charles Noguez to be his successor of the military regime. Ah, Spears Goebbels victory. Interesting. Goebbels is the one that's mainly in power, but um, yeah, good, good luck because it's still going to end in disaster for you. Yep, it has begun. Goebbels versus Manstein versus Himmler. Who will emerge victorious? I forgot this civil war was actually still ongoing. Or this war of independence, rather. Um, Iran has actually won so far. 
um, they actually might win this. Uh, it's a, in for a penny and for a pound, a heavy hand is what led us here. French administration of Algeria. I will happily have them as a puppet. I feel like that is the best outcome for this. I don't quite understand why we would need to do this. So it looks like it just gives us bonuses, divert funding to the army, manpower increased. I don't see this being really essential to do. Like surely I could just sort out my deficit equipment the normal way. Oh wow, okay. Himmler's just been offed in the SS open stats. Uh, does that mean that we're going to be getting a certain other crazy individual taking over? Definitely won't be Heydrich. The end of the Horthys. They've just all been executed. The German civil war is over. Goebbels has emerged victorious, so he is going to be doing his total war little thingy with Jiggy. So um, yeah, he's does he get? Can't remember actually. I just played him recently. Did he get a war goal in France? Oh, the Finno-German Treaty. That's interesting. Okay. Why have you done that, Finland? Why? But anyways, we have the national elections. We could have Nogues win, or we could have Darlin win. I'm going to have Darlin win. Darlin becomes the president of the Republic. Here he is. He has headstrong, which is good. So we keep that for the political power gain. And now we've unlocked this side of the tree. Sorry, no guess. It's time for the return of the technocrats. The return of Bicho. I think I've pronounced that incorrectly, but that improves our production efficiency cap. We get a nice wee national spirit, which I will happily take. So we've approached the Americans to be a TA base in Europe for them. And we have gained the national spirit, the Eye of Washington. So Darlin has just addressed the USA and all it's really done is improve our relations with them. So I don't think we're going to be drawing in the Toronto Accord, sadly. Which is a shame, but uh, hey-ho, it is what it is. I think Iraq is just getting a little bit too confident here. They just want Kuwait City, but they're now at war with the Toronto Accord. So I think you're probably gonna- yeah, you're gonna die. Well done. The Russian Republic is on the move. And the Soviet Republic of Novosibirsk with Khrushchev is looking pretty thick, but they're probably going to end up at war with the Perm Soviet government very soon as well. So one of the things we've just done is we have repealed the kind of laws that were in place in regards to the Jews. They have now been reintegrated back into French society. I was wondering how we were going to get rid of the incompetent government, but it's the Darlan Pachu plan. We are modernizing France and we're also getting rid of that incompetent government. So the only thing that's really negative that's affecting us now is the divided military, which I'm hoping we get rid of, I don't know, somewhere? Ah, the French Great Works. We can expand Marseille port, Bordeaux port, Bordeaux airport, industrialization itself, electrification of central France, Paris Marseille highway, the Paris Brest highway, the Paris naval industrial complex. So we get some dockyards, air bases, I quite like to do the industrialization of the self, that gives us two of each factory, which would be ideal. Well, we've went from being an authoritarian system to a facade democracy. Okay, I'm curious. Our equipment and manpower will decrease and we'll create an army. I'm interested to see what happens. We've got full on both. We're even over the 100% that you can get. So let's create a proper army. It's going to take 35 days and it barely used up anything. Okay, we create a proper army. We get 11 divisions. Really? Is, is that it? The Lille conference has started. The delegates from France and Germany have gathered in the Gothic architecture of Lille to have a discussion. Ah, perfect. The second armistice shall be abolished. It's been abolished for a few years now, but thank you for that. As ah, so we have requested the return of our uh, Northern Territories, but it has remained to be seen if the Germans will accept this. Ah, uh, okay, so basically, the Germans have counter-proposed. They've said they can have all the territories back except from Alsace-Lorraine, but they have to join the German faction. We are not going to join it. And due to that, diplomacy has failed and negotiations have broken down, which now leads us down to Revenge for 1940. Revenge for 1940 is done. We'll do looking to Italy. I take it that just opens up a decision to evict. Oh, fortify the border. Stage anti-German uprisings. Prepare airstrips. Raise reserves. Open up fuel reserves and gathering Italian support. Italy, my good friend. Would you like to betray, well, invade the Germans with me? 
Not really betray, but you want to invade the Germans with me and then I'll backstab you like you would backstab someone. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted, but fine. Fine, I'll join the Mediterranean Pact. It's not what I wanted whatsoever. I just wanted them to intervene on my side. This is an important day for France. Today we reclaim our territory from the Germans and liberate Europe, I guess, uh, with the help of the Italians. With big old Benito, who I'm hopefully still going to be able to backstab. But yes, let us begin the Franco-German War. Benito, my good friend, join us as we take up arms. Oh my days, they're dead, they are dead, the German Reich is no more, oh it's beautiful, give me all this juicy, juicy, rightful French clay back, oh we're gorgeous already, oh it's so beautiful, we look fantastic right now, of course we are going to have to puppet a lot of people, but hey ho, we have a choice to withdraw from Russia, that makes sense to do that, but it doesn't make sense for the Perm Soviet government to get the control of that, so what I'm going to do is, Good old state transfer. I'm gonna transfer that actually over to the Moscow Red Army for the time being. Uh, let's let's reunite Czechoslovakia, Poland. You can now be liberated, and the end of the Reich. We're gonna go for occupy the Tsar land and install an occupational regime. Didn't even take the Tsar land, but I, I'm going to be taking it. In fact, I'm going to take the Rhineland. It just seems fair to me. And I'm going to be kind here, because we do have some good ties with the uh, Toronto Accord, so I'm going to restore the governments in exile. Nice, so I do actually get the uh, the chance to actually select this decision, so hopefully it's just going to boot us out the faction when the time comes. Ah, it, it, it done nothing. I'm, I'm just going to use a couple of console commands to allow me to do this then. There we go, that's better. I never wanted an alliance with you in the first place, Italy, so time to die. Oh dear, oh dear, Italy. We've split you in two. And we're just absolutely slaughtering you. Onwards, men, into Croatia. I'm hoping to actually get into Hungary as well. That way we can actually annex them. Ah, damn it. Italy died before we got Serbia, but hey ho. We'll take all of Italy, all of Croatia, all of Ethiopia, and all of Hungary. Sorry, Ausland, it's time for you to be destroyed again. And, well, actually, rather than saying destroyed, I should be saying liberated by our glorious forces. Uh, Ukraine now, so we'll go ahead and take them over and get there. Get them free of the Germans. 
There we go. We'll annex Ukraine. We'll hop in here. Withdraw from Western Russia, which is not the case, but there we go. National Republic of Ukraine. Well, I think that looks pretty good. It's just a shame we had to annex Italy. Um, but the Perm Soviet government now controls their territory. Ukraine, Belarus, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia are all independent now. I'm not too bothered about dealing with them. They're irrelevant anyways. They're no threat to anybody. So guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. Uh, a very, very fun game today. And another quick video for me to record. I do love playing the Thousand Week Right because it's always quick. Which is nice. Less editing for me. Um, but yeah, the state of the world. Uh, it's just a Toronto Accord and Viva La France. Um, we control a nice portion of uh, Europe. We've dealt with the, uh, the National Socialists and the Fascists. Um, yes, the Soviets gained some territory, but I couldn't care less. They're no threat to anybody. This war is actually still ongoing. Um, but yeah, we're in a much better position than what we were in at the start of the game, thanks to good old Francois Darlin. I guess we could have went with Noguez, but I feel like Darlin was the best choice. Um, it's a shame we didn't have the ability to uh, do talks to Dakar and get them to integrate into our territory. That would be nice, but we do still have some holdings in Africa. Uh, what I'll do is I'll maybe come back and play as Jack Storiot. Uh, have Wake and get assassinated and have him do his coup. He is pro-German, so it's probably pretty obvious what we get up to. But I'm going to wait a few weeks before we do that video. I just want to jump back into some other mods. I want to get back into Kaiser Redux because I love it. And we'll maybe check out some other mods we've not played in a while as well. Uh, just to you know, keep things varied. Um, but until the next video, guys, do take care. And I'll see you all very soon. Cheer bye, then out.